What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Let me just talk to y'all about something I have observed being from Washington, D.C. and always being downtown, right? Downtown where all the tourists come in, you know, to America. They come here to Washington, D.C. to see all the monuments and go to all the museums and see all, you know, it's a tourist spot, right? But one attraction that I've noticed that seems to be consistent, one thing that all these foreign people from all over the world, you can always tell, because sometimes there'll be an influx of Chinese. Uh, right now, there's an influx of Indians. There's a lot of Indians here, right? And of course, white people from all across America, all across the world. You know who's one of the biggest attractions? Black people. Yeah, black people. Black people just walking around who live here. These white folks, these Asians and Indians, when they see us, they be like, oh, oh they, I mean, they, they, they literally be in our faces. They come and talk to us. They just, some of them just make up excuses just to talk to us. I swear. Right. It's so, like, it's so obvious. Like, because a lot of Europeans, they don't interact. Like everybody heard about the African-American or the African or the black person. Right. But to be honest, a lot of these white folks from America, they have no relations with black people. A lot. Like a lot, like the majority, they live in the countryside. There's no black people out there. We didn't move out there like that. You know, there's a few, there means onesies and twosies, but we're not out there like that. There's no, they don't have experience being around black people. Like the majority of white, like most of MAGA, them, they don't know a black person. They may know one black person that worked at the cafeteria at their old school or some shit. Like they may know one black person that's the doctor at their hospital. But other than that, they don't know any black people. They don't get to see us in our natural habitat, right? Like they don't get to see none of that. So when we come here, they're always in our faces. You know, you know, I see them looking at the, the police officers, the black police, because we got, oh my God, what? Black police officers, I mean, we got every type of law enforcement, federal, like, oh God, like we all up in that John here in DC. It's, it's, it's just it's nuts, right? They be looking at them like, oh, look at those professional black people. And it's like, you hear, they say stuff. Like, we are part of the tourist attraction. I swear to God. And I ain't getting no money. Like, right now, I'm I'm a part of it. I'm, I'm going to show you right now I'm a part of it. Like, right exactly this group right here. All of them are grizzly. All of them. Now they ain't looking because they see I got the camera. But they still look up. Oh, there it is. I mean, all I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. Because this is what I see when, I, when, I'm, when I'm walking. I'm walking, and it's just people going by, you know. Just people doing their thing, right? And it's like, I'm part of the parade, right? All these black people are part of the parade. You know, they come here, they get to see black people working, minding their own business, doing all sorts of stuff. And they be in our face. You already seen it, I be on camera. And they just be waving, they just all, oh, they just can't mind, they just can't, right? That is one thing that I have noticed is that a lot of people come to Washington, D.C the most powerful, single most powerful place in the world, the single most powerful place in the world, right? That was designed by an African, right? Looks like Africa. Like, that's the thing, Washington DC looks like Africa. Not Greeks, not Greece, but Africa, right? Greeks, right, imitated Africa. Rome imitated Greece. The United States is imitating Rome, Greece, Africa, right? This is Africa, right? So they come to, uh, Africa light, right? The place that Africans still had to build. And they stare at African people while going to the African American History Museum and then going to all the various other museums where they got a bunch of African stuff up in there. Like, that's the thing about it. Like the Smithsonian right here, right? Man, you walk in that Smithsonian, you'll find all sorts of stolen African artifacts. Oh my goodness, what? Now I can go, I can probably go into every one of these museums that's not specifically for another group and find something African. I swear to God, I can even go into the Native American Museum all the way down the road and find something in there that got to do with African and Native American relations. I swear to God, I swear I've been in there, I swear. But yeah, we are definitely a tourist attractions around here. And it's cool, you know, hey, it's cool though. It's not really a bad thing. It's like the only way to learn about a group of people is to interact with them. Like you, it, it probably changes a bunch of people's minds. That's why anytime they ever come and talk to me, I always put on my best foot. I always, you know, give them directions. I'm always very nice because I mean, we're nice. We know, we know that overall, as a community, their leadership is our enemy. But 
them individually not necessarily our enemy you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm realistic i'm not like let's kill all the wahoo you know they ain't all bad they just don't know some of them don't know and we know by nature they just their disposition is to act a certain way we just gotta act a certain way to counter their them acting their sort sort of kind of way but other than that i'm usually very nice and they just love they love to come up to us and be like and they, they come scared. They, you can tell they're a little intimidated sometimes. They'll come, and then once you put on that smile, bam, say, hey, da 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 da. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, da 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 da. Even Indians, like straight from India, they come up to me, they want to talk. And I'll be talking to them, and they just walk off. You can tell they walked off with an impression. You know, and I always leave good impressions. I represent, I represent us to the fullest. Like, look, I don't care who I'm around. I be repping. All right. So that way, when they walk off, they can say they had a good, pleasant experience with an African American dispelling some of the stereotypes that they're fed by their leadership in the white western world that's how it is so yeah i just want to talk about that real quick because I, I i've often always noticed it but i never really thought about it too much until just recently i'm like man am i a part of the attraction are people buying tickets to see people like me and the buildings i think they are you know this is hey you know what <laughs> black people watch walking around washington dc is probably the best picture of real african greatness you know hidden behind the veil of white supremacy like no bullshit like literally me walking around here looks like an african walking around africa when we was at our height that's what it looks like and it seems like that's what people come to see <laughs> but anyway that's all i got to say for now guys this afro think tank runs up to see some i'm out